guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a foundation review for you guys which was well overdue because I haven't had one in ages today I will be reviewing the Tom Ford what's it called traceless foundation stick um, okay so this is a really expensive one this is like 64 pounds so I'm gonna let you guys know if it's worth it and how it is on the skin and just tell you more about it and I'm gonna show you how I apply it and how it you know blends on the skin i do want to say i'm really sorry about this ugly background like i just need to get my stuff sorted out but hopefully i will have i'll be back in my room and there'll be just a plain white background i just prefer like when it's just a plain color so yeah this is a foundation that costs 64 pounds and i got the shade toffee 09 i did look online and it does say that there's a lot of hydrating products in there uh, ingredients I mean and it's good for all skin types and you can get any kind of coverage out of it so it's a good versatile foundation apparently so so I have been wearing this a few times and I have been liking it a bit and um, I would say as I apply it it's very it feels very moisturizing it doesn't drag on the skin so it feels very similar to the makeup forever one which is a 30 pound foundation which is a huge price difference um, even though Makeup Forever is still considered high-end, I feel like Tom Ford is another type of high-end. Um, but it's very similar in consistency to the Makeup Forever Ultra Foundation Stick because it really glides on the skin as you apply it. And I just like to apply it all over my face and I blend it in with a buffing brush. It doesn't really work with a beauty blender because it just doesn't move the product. It just keeps pressing on it. So I feel like if you use a brush, it's much better. Um, so yeah, I just buffed this into my skin and I've tried putting two or three layers and it doesn't cake up. It's very, very buildable and it gives a nice coverage even with just one layer of application. So I definitely think that's a plus. So it's, it's very easy to apply, it's very easy to blend and it looks really nice on the skin. I am wearing it today and one thing I have to say though is that the products, on, even though I don't wear powder, lately I've been seeing that my product, my bronzer and everything is applying a bit patchy on my skin. But with this one, it applies very nicely on top of it, even though I, doesn't, I don't even set that area with powder. Today I have set my under eyes and around my mouth area with powder. I feel like setting my mouth area with powder has been helping, um, especially with smile lines. But when I wore this foundation with no powder around here, um, it actually didn't give me smile lines. It did kind of separate, which happens a lot with me um, around my mouth area, but it's, it's like every foundation kind of does that to me, but this one did it a bit more. And then another thing that I do do like about this foundation is that even though I apply so much around my mouth area, it won't make it look grey or weird. Like I put so much, I put two layers around my mouth area and it looks really nice. Like I will do a close up for you guys, but it it build up really nicely around my mouth area and it just makes your skin look really even and really like soft and I do believe that there are a lot of shades for this foundation and this one just happens to be like my perfect colour so I'm really happy about the colour. So let me just quickly compare this to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I am in the shade 173 which equals to Y445 and in the Tom Forward I'm in Toffee 09 and um, you get 12.5 grams in the Makeup Forever one and you get 15 grams in the Tom Ford one so there's a bit more in here and um, the packaging of the Tom Ford one obviously feels very luxurious like it feels the, the lid is like so hard to get off um, and it feels nice and heavy compared to the Makeup Forever one and I feel like my Makeup Forever one the lid comes off very easily so sometimes I find it without no lid in my makeup bag so this is the Tom Ford one and that's the makeup forever one they're very similar in color I do have to say though that they both are very similar but there's a huge price difference between the two so if I had to choose I would obviously go for the makeup forever one because it's just so much more affordable and so I would probably keep the, the, my Tom Ford one more for like special occasions because it's so expensive. Like I don't understand why it has to be so expensive. Even their lipsticks are like £40. I mean, it's it's nice. It's really nice to have like a luxurious product. Like, in dollars, just to give you an idea, I believe it's around $85. So it's just really expensive, but it's nice to have. Like it's like a splurge item. It's, um, it's a good product. It's very similar to the Makeup Forever one. I would even say a dupe because 
it's very like dewy and this is very dewy on my skin as well like it looks nice and glowy on my skin and it just it just applies really nicely and I feel like the consistency of it is very similar like I love how they both blend and in terms of longevity they both last long like they both stay on really well and the only thing is I feel like this doesn't separate my mouth area but the Tom Ford one does Um, so two that's how clumsy I am. Ugh. So those are the two swatched against each other. The Makeup Forever one does appear like a tinsy bit lighter, but they both have that dewy shine to them. Like they're both very hydrating foundation sticks. So I think that's why I like both of them. And I do have to say that the um, Tom Ford one does match me a bit better than the Makeup Forever one, I feel like. Um, because when I swatched the Makeup Forever one, um, you can kind of see it being swatched, but when I swatch the Tom Ford one on my face, it kind of doesn't look like it's there. Um, so I feel like there's a better colour match for me in the Tom Ford one, but do I think it's worth the £65? I probably don't think so. I'm sorry, but it's a nice splurge, but I think it... <laughs> because the Makeup Forever one is so similar, like I would probably just go for that one. I would say maybe the two cons for it is the fact that it's so pricey, definitely, and another one is that it kind of separates around my mouth area sometimes, so that's why I have to like definitely set powder around my mouth area so it doesn't separate like that. And I also have to make sure that this area is much more hydrated because I have to put the, found the powder on top of the foundation. So those would be the two cons for it. The packaging's lovely, the colour's lovely, um, the formula's lovely, it blends amazing, it lasts long, apart from my mouth area. But um, yeah, and it really makes your skin look good. So, but very, very, very similar to the Makeup Forever one. So I think that's all I have to say. I really hope you guys enjoyed this foundation review. Let me know what other foundations you would like me to try. I have two other ones that I have planned coming soon. I probably would rate this foundation maybe like out of an eight out of 10. Um, because it is a good foundation, but I just don't like the price. So yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up if you did like this video. Um, let me know what other foundation reviews you would like to see next in the comments below. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next time. Bye!